Hello, my peeps. <clears throat> it is Tracy Stewart here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator and Deep Paper Pusher. Um, it is Friday catch up. Full disclosure, it's Thursday night. <laughs> and I'm pre recording this because we have plans tomorrow. Um, you will see it. I'm, I think I'm, I will make the note in my post as well. But uh, tomorrow, 19th of January, National Popcorn Day. So it's also my son's first. Um, exam. He only has to write two of them, but well, I guess he's already technically he's written the first half of one of them. But this is like first exam day where he goes at like a special time, and all he has to do is go write one exam. So I'm picking him up after his exam, and we're going to the theater, and he'd go see us a Disney movie because you can't go wrong with Disney, and uh, and have some popcorn. <laughs> so, well, and it's a good thing anyways because I got my paper pumpkin kits. Yay. Um, a couple hours ago and it's been killing me to not open it but I thought nope I'm gonna wait I'm gonna get my other stuff that I gotta get done done and then we're gonna go all all things paper pumpkin so today's Friday catch-up is all about paper pumpkin um, I those of you who got my newsletter <laughs> it technically would have like two minutes ago seen my <laughs> newsletter because uh, I just finished it but this is tomorrow morning now so let's pretend that last night you saw my newsletter um, and I, I talked about the prepay for paper pumpkins. So <clears throat> there's two ways to get paper pumpkin. You can sign up and have a monthly subscription. So you sign up, you put in your credit card once a month, it comes out, it charges, it's all automatic. You have the option to suspend. So you can go in ahead of time and say, no, I don't want this month's kit. Um, for whatever reason, don't like the one that you've seen sneaks of, you're gonna be out of town, you just you don't have time, like whatever. Or you can cancel, like it's very easy to subscribe and it's a very easy process. Or, and you, even w either way that you do this, you still need to set up an account so they have your address and mailing and stuff. So either way you're doing that, but it is very easy, like I said, to cancel or suspend. The other way to do it is to go in ahead of time and, and buy prepaid subscriptions. So the I guess there's a couple bonuses to this. When you do this, you go, it's like going into the store and buying up, up the subscription. So if you get, if depending on how much you spend, you're eligible for celebration items. Stampin' Rewards, um, the, um, if you're a demonstrator, you can use this towards your, like, your commission, or your, all of a sudden I forgot the word I wanted, your minimums and stuff like that. So it, it gets treated just as if you were ordering, you know, stamp sets or paper or whatever from the online store. So, and that's how you do get it. You do go on there. You order the prepaid subscription, and you very quickly will get an email, like within minutes, you will get an email with um, a code. And so you have your account set up online, you go in, you punch in your code, and it starts tracking for you. I do this once a year. Once a year I go in, I buy a 12 month subscription. I, I get, I, I add an extra 30 bucks worth of stuff. It's 3.30, it's almost, it's not quite 30, I think it's $24 worth of stuff. So I get six celebration items, because I like all the free stuff. And then this just counts down. So each month it just, instead of taking money off my credit card, it takes from this prepaid subscription. And it will send me out the thing and say charge this month was zero and it says you have four left you have three left you have two left um and if i go in one month and go you know what i'm not going to get that one which i will tell you in paper pumpkin started in 2013 right i think this year was the 10th or last year was the 10th anniversary i think i have i have suspended uh twice in 10 years and the one time it was just, it was very gold and floral. And I thought, you know, that's not really my style. And I'm really busy right now. So I'm not going to even have time to like play, do anything with it. Um, so I had suspended it. The other time, I, I think it was a similar thing. It was in the summertime and I just thought, you know what? I don't have time for this. And I suspended it. And then I saw it and I was like, oh my God. But something happened with the, with the, the way the things processed that month. And I managed to catch it just in time to get through the second run. And I got it anyways. <laughs> So, but anyways, yes, you can. So I do this every month. It's a great way to do it. So, and I put the little chart in there that tells you what you get and the prices and stuff. This chart is in the newsletter. So yeah, it's um, the other bonus to getting, like by doing the prepaid. So if you get a three month, it'll cost you the same as if you ordered it like through the month to month subscription. But when you do a six month paid, you're basically getting a buck 50 off a kit. They, they price it so that you get a little bit cheaper. And with a 12 month prescription, you're basically paying for 11 months and getting the 12 month free. So the, it's what it's, I mean, it's the same with everybody, right? The more you buy the you generally the better deal. 
So that's what you do. So yeah, you can get a whole lot of celebration items. Uh, I'm going to talk about this one at the end. So this is the January kit. And you know in the new system, they were kind of like January, February, March had the new dies. I mean, we'll do that one at the end. Um, so this was the first one. I have been waiting for this one. And what we knew about this one was that it was cards and that it went with the perennial lavender set. Now, I played with the perennial lavender set. I shared a bunch of pictures, but that was one of the suites I did for the catalog launch. It's so pretty. Like all those different purples. There's lots of green and there's white and, and some crumb cake color in there. Um, oh my God, it's just so pretty in the paper. Oh, it was so much. And it comes with those great postage labels. So I was very much looking forward to this. Okay, so we've got Gorgeous Grape, which is a nice deep dark purple. Our stamp set has a nice uh, little sprig thing on it. Um, it's got a width. This little guy is a width um, because it goes with love, right? So you've got the big love. And one of the, the dies is actually the word love that you can die cut. This one says Happy Valentine's Day. And this one says uh, just a little something for you. Oh, I like that one. That'll come in handy for treat packaging and stuff. So that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> Again. I know they make it for the big reveal, but the tissue paper is always good. <laughs> I'm just going to crumple it right up on the thing. Okay. So, I'm always very careful because I really don't want to, um, I'm using my packaging scissors and not my good paper snips. Those of you who know me know I have like six different pairs of scissors and they all have a function and those functions are not interchangeable. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm just trying not to cut any of the pretty stuff that's in the package. Okay, my favorite of, I, I love twine. You'll notice that there's twine on everything, right? Uh, the linen thread twine is my fave. So a little bit of that. We've got us some dimensionals because yeah, you got to pop everything up. That's that's the way to do things. I just realized, you know what? I'm just gonna move this box somewhere else. <laughs> it's not in the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me for a moment while I have a sip of tea. For those who are wondering, who saw my Tuesday live, um, Rascal is recovering nicely. The cold doesn't seem to be bothering him, even though he has got very very short hair right now. Um, he's, he, after the first day, he's barely itching or, or licking or any of the things that I was worried about that were going to put us right back where we started. Um, so yeah, he is doing great. He's been sleeping lots. Um, he's, uh, let's see, how do we say this without actually totally weirding everybody out? The, after surgery, cause he had anesthetic, of course. So you, you're always watching for certain signs that everything is back to working normal. So, um, that was a fun, uh. Every time he would go outside, we were very closely watching the dog, but uh, all has returned to regular, and so it's all good. Everything is good. Oh, what did we get here? What did we... Oh, you know what I just remembered? And I only just remembered it because they put it in here. That's right. Um, one of the other things that they were going to do this month, Stampin' Up! was going to do this month, was they were giving us like little inserts so you could and I'm trying to remember now what case they thought this isn't this isn't sized it isn't sized for um the the stamp cases themselves I wonder <laughs> as I just like this is it's like being live you think you know hey she's doing it ahead of time she'll have it all fixed no nope, no nope, it's just me winging it as I go I'm kind of wondering though Oh, look at that. So we have these clear envelopes, which are so handy for so many things. And in case that you haven't heard me say this, because I've probably said it 8,000 times at some point. Um, you could put cards, like our cards and envelopes will fit just inside of these. Um, like the card and the envelope will fit in, inside this thing. So you can put them in here. I'm going to put them in there with that sheet. Um, and then put like a stick, a, a label on the outside and a stamp. And, it, and you can mail your card in these. Right? Like you can mail them in the with the shiny envelope on the outside. And then that way your envelope and this don't get, and your card don't get messed up. So that's an option. But I think um, it looks like you can put this little sheet they gave you in here. And then you could put your stamp set in it. And then you have just, a, instead of having to keep all the empty boxes, it gives you a way to... to um, store all your stamps and really quickly see what the images are. Now I would say it would have been really nice if they had put like the kit or the month or something because some people that's how they refer to them. But that's awesome. I forgot they were doing that starting in January. Okay, so here's the instructions that Tracy never looks at. Um, 
Oh, there we go. See, they have these gorgeous cards, and on the little promo thing it said, plus four bonus tags from punching out the front of the card. <laughs> so that's, now you can see a picture of them. So, oh, look at all these, isn't these not the greatest colors? Okay, so I'm going to put these together. So I'm, I'm going to set this off to the side, because we are going to attempt to do this in not take forever and do this. So we have these gorgeous envelopes with the pretty insides. Two different patterns there for the two different cards. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to keep everything in screen while I do this. Okay, so here's one card front. Um, I guess I could actually look at the instructions and not just look at the pictures on the front like I usually do. So this is what they're talking about. These card fronts have these little... Um, they're the shape of the countryside... Countryside Corners dies, I think. But now I have four a gorgeous... Um, tags that I can make. And there's my four card fronts. And those ones are going to go with, I'm going to say this envelope, I think, because this one appears to go this way. This is, looks like card number two. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this, yeah, seriously, looking at the instructions without opening, because the instructions are this long. Right? And I don't, want, I don't have room on my desk to have that sitting. They're that way, and there's information on both sides. Um, I'll just look at the pictures on the front, because I can tell from there. Okay, so these dudes go with this. These are the card bases that these go in front of. So the envelopes with the little crumb cake in the spots go with those ones. That makes sense. Uh, these ones go with this one. I'll move the stamps and the things that you don't need to necessarily see off camera, so you can try to keep all this other stuff in line. Um, I did clean my desk, and, and I've been using it, and I've been playing so much, I've been having so much fun. Um, but yeah, I just keep starting new things and doing new things, and so I just keep ending up with, with more stuff in front of me. Okay, so half these tags are for this card. These tags are for making, um, these labels are for making the tags. How about I say it that way? And then these tiny little ones here are to stamp the with on to go with the love that goes over here. So we need that for all three of them. So we'll just kind of put that in the group territory. Oh, we got some glue dots added in. Ooh, lots of luscious greenery. Look at this stuff, so pretty. And I love when they die cut it. Um, they do such a good job that yes, I'm poking out. How many of these are there? One, two, three, four. So I'm doing four of each, kind of at one time. And as long as as long as you hold on to them, as long as you don't like grab one end. And, and just try like try to pull them out like this. You can generally do them all at once. You just have to find the little places. There's like just every every now and again they're attached somewhere. But they're mostly it's mostly die cut with just a few little contact points. Okay, so these Lost Lagoon colored ones, the lighter colored ones, are for the tags. I like to take all my stuff. Everybody how they do their kits is, is different. Um, I find it easier, and I rarely, <laughs> I rarely follow instructions, but I do like to at least make one. When I see something new, I tend to make one the way it was intended. But, and even if I don't do that right off the bat with kits, I do at least take the kit pieces and put them where they're supposed to go so that I can then decide if I want to do what I'm supposed to, if I want to go rogue. So that is that one. Then these huge ones here, which are several branches. Um, and have a little like a, a little base at the bottom of them. Those ones go with our little polka dot cards. Those ones go with that. And then these other ones in the corner, which for some reason don't want to come out of the unit. There we go. Now, something was stuck. I just couldn't figure out what. But I didn't want to manhandle all the other ones in the process of trying to figure out what I was, what was stuck there. These ones go on those ones. And then they've got that. So <clears throat> here, I'll show you. So this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is the die pack that came that you could order as the add-on. Um, and if you watched my live the other night, you'll know my first thought was, wow, these are bigger than I thought. <laughs> so there's a label, which I think looks to be the same shape as the label that goes on the tags. 
<clears throat> it's just a little bit bigger. But I love this kind of like little rounded end. It's a great shape. So this is one of the dies. The as far as I can tell from the February kit, because on the February kit they mention Easter and spring and babies and and it says something about tulips. So there's one die here that cuts out a tulip. And I'll show you some cards I made with just the dies. Um, I'm pretty sure that this one is going to coordinate the best with the February kit. So they said all of the dies in the thing will coordinate with like January, February, March. You could like interchange them. But some will like specifically coordinate. So this same thing, leaf fronds, is probably going to be the March kit, which has got florals and something. You get two stamp sets in that one. I think that's the bonus. Um, the February one, you get a cool box. So this one could go, you could probably put greenery on anything. And then there's this die cut for the word love. So you have some in here that are white with a little crumb cake around them. But if you wanted to jazz up your card or you want to do something different, you could die cut because these appear to be the, yeah, they are. Well, they are almost exactly the same. The E's a little bit different, which kind of sucks in a way because you can't layer them. But you could manipulate it enough to be able to layer them. It, look, it would look cute. But you don't have to. If you don't have the dies, you don't need the dies to make the kits work. They were very clear about that. Um, everything you need is in this, is in these pieces. So here, I'm just going to... So we've got the word love for those ones. Just going to take those out. And then... Huh. There are no little florals on the tags, just leaves. You don't need florals. Look at this background. Is this not gorgeous? And then, so I'll take this one out. And then we have two different, well, we have a couple different size things here. Good thing. Um, one, two. Oh, you know what? There's only two sheets. That's why. I was going to say there seems to be more than we need. Okay, so there's big, big, um, ah, what's lavender <laughs> plants? Sorry. Uh, I was like, what's this set called again? So there's these big ones that also have this like little tag on the base. And those ones are going to get tucked in or tucked under something. That's But this just gives you a better way to fasten them down. So there, there's only two of these sheets. So two sheets, two of each on here. Just a minute. Usually this goes faster. There we go. And then, you know what? I'm only going to put one, one of each card together. So how would I... But I make this go faster. Uh, and then there's two of these long skinny ones. I'll do this other sheet after just to make it so you're not trying to keep Friday short in case you're doing this on your lunch hour and you got to get back to work or you want to go take advantage of popcorn day and go to the movie. Okay so one of them is a little bit thicker and shorter and one is a little bit longer and you get one of each for each card. So there's and there like I said there's a whole other sheet of them but oops that goes on. Oh I did it backwards. This goes on here. So the ones at the base and the base, because they're going to tuck under. Um, and then these ones go over here. Okay. So then, <laughs> if you wanted to, if you weren't me and you just wanted to do things right. <coughs> excuse me. I, I have no idea how to pause my recording once I start. So I really don't want to be coughing on it. But I'm just if you hear silence, like little dead spots, that's me drinking tea to stop coughing. Um... Okay, so it tells us right on here 12 inches. I think I've mentioned this before, but it's so cool. I just love, I love all the little things Stampin' Up! does. So it says in here, right in here, 12 inches of the twine to make your card. And you don't have, if you don't have a ruler, I have one taped to the front of my desk to make it easier. But along the inside of this instruction is the calendar that shows you that this is how long 12 inches of twine is. Like, it's just, it, they're so clever. I'm just so impressed with how clever they are. Okay, so this one... And because I'm trying to make this fast, so you don't want to watch me spend five minutes trying to open the the, the stampin' spot, I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna grab my full size ink pad, and we are making we're gonna make one tag that says just a little something for you, which I quite like. So that's one of these ones, and. Um, I will show you if I can if I can stay focused and remember to show you at the end. Um, the other stuff that that is part of the suite that goes with it. I should have grabbed the paper to the, to show you, but oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And it's it's the same thing. So it's these colors. It's all these like shades of purple. Um, this nice dark, which I think is garden green. Again, I've probably said this before. I'm going to do it every time because I think of it. 
Um, on the back of the tag, it tells you. So we have Berry Burst, Crushed Curry, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather. Those are the purples that are in there. Lost Lagoon is these this leaf color. Uh, pretty Peacock. Um, that's got to be in the flowers. That's Oh, yeah, you can see it. Some of the leaves and florals in there. These are Garden Green. And then Crushed Curry is just, oh, yeah, these little flowers there. So it shows you right on the back what the colors are that you want. Um, so if you want to change up the... But, oh, it, the papers and everything in the suite are just so pretty. Just so nice. I, I posted some pictures, and I got a lot of comments on this one, and everybody likes the suite. Okay. So there's a, just a little something for you. I'm just going to, oh, my ink. I just realized my ink pad is off. Well, that's okay. I don't really need to see me stamping. But um, where the heck did my thing... You know what, I I was just making a card using my linen twine, so I'm going to use, oh, no, I'm not, because I just found the one that was there. This one is slightly thicker than the regular linen twine, so make it so they all look the same. I do, And I do like that they put the twine in these little baggies, because one, the baggies are quite helpful for storing bits and pieces of other things, but then if this thing happens to come loose, you're not chasing your twine down the street as it rolls everywhere. Mine, if it falls on the floor, mine's gone. Like it, it tends to unroll the whole thing, and down the road it goes. Okay, well, here's those. Um, there's a whole thing with tags on how you how you put twine on tags. Um, it's so funny too because you have lots of people. Do you tie it on? Do you tie it on so you, people can tie like make a loop, and then they have to put the tag through the loop, or do you just tie it loose, like leave ends so they can tie it? Or um, I like to make it the just kind of like looping through. And I have to do this every time I do it backwards, but I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it start from the back. I think I'm, one of these times I will actually remember it. So I make my loop through the back, and I pull. Oh, I did do it right this time. Woohoo! Let me think. Oh, so I make it because I just it looks prettier this way than it does this way. I think. Um, and then these two pieces are loose. By loose, I mean not joined at the end. So if you wanted to tie it to something, you can. I find if you make it like a big loop, then you have to stick this through the loop. Then you're just going to bend this up. <laughs> so that's why I do it that way. Um, I am going to put, there was glue dots there, but I will just grab the ones that I can find easier. You just need one little glue dot. And I like the little jaunty hanging off the edge thing. Uh, depending where you were putting this, if you didn't want it to hang off the edge, you could make it so it didn't. But mine can. And then dimensionals. That sheet's big. I haven't lost that sheet on my desk yet. I'm gonna. I I was gonna pop these up anyways, but I see that they did too. Put a little. I think I want to offset it a little bit. <gasps> How cute that is. So this is this is the beauty of the kits, right? You get to play. You get to have all these fun things. They're nice and quick and easy, and you don't have to think or plan anything. <laughs> so we have one. I'm going to whip one of these cards up. I'm just going to start pushing stuff out of the way, though. I'm never going to have room for everything. I need one of those, one of those. I need a card front. I need some lavender. I need some leaves. I think I already grabbed the envelope. Um, I need a label. One of these long ones. And so there's four of each card, but you'll notice there's six of each label. So that's kind of nice too, so that you have a you have room to make extra cards or to fix mistakes if you happen to make them. <clears throat> they're not mistakes; they're just you know creative opportunities. Okay, which way does my card open? <laughs> Give me a sec. Me trying to have a drink of tea and move the card and do the thing all at the same time. So this is going to go together like this. I am going to, actually it probably says that in the instructions too. I really should look at the instructions more. Yes, it does say. So I guess you could put it flat if you were like for some reason you're limited on how thick your card could be. And if you were going to put this like straight flat down, you'd want to make sure to tuck these pieces in before you glued it down. But we are going to use um, dimensionals. Seriously, I just had the thing. Oh, put it over on that side. Now, because I know that I'm going to put this down like this, 
and I'm going to put the greenery in the back and I'm going to put the lovely little florals in the front oh, look at that and then I'm going to put the label over top right so I'm going to go like this but what I need is to make sure that where these two things are going in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this all in one piece like this and I'm going to flip it over because I don't want to put these I'm, I'm going to put dimensionals and I'm going to put a few of them on because I want to hold this up and I want it I don't want it to be all like collapsing in the middle or anything but I want to make sure that I don't put a dimensional right there <laughs> because if I put a dimensional right there I won't be able to tuck those things in so I'm going to put them along the edge like I said I want to keep this thing nice and popped up like it's supposed to be and I can put one on this side I could put one up here as opposed to right in that corner which is where I would have put it if I hadn't caught myself and then now I don't put this much dimensionals on a card normally and I, lots of times I would cut them in half but these are gorgeous cards I'm going to give them to somebody I'm going to want them to like totally appreciate the the beauty of the card and I don't want it all like I said I don't want it all saggy um now what I'm going to do though at the same time because now that I know where those are going I'm actually just going to put my dimensional like this and that's going to be enough to hold them in place I might have to do a little finessing just as I lay it down but uh, that's going to hold those in place because I'm going to put a label over top of it so they're not going to come out just to make sure I get all of the backings off there we go so I'm just going to hold on to those so they don't go anywhere do do a little bit of adjusting there we go and then just try to find somewhere to hold that I don't have a dimensional sticking to my hand um, and you'll notice lots of times on cards <clears throat> when you put down the card front there's a layer around it but this one they just wanted these just peeking through so this card front covers the entire card base so you're not trying to like set it inside and give a nice little edge to it you're trying to line it right up and cover the whole thing there we go now we just got to remember where I put all those dimensionals and pop them all down so now like these are these are pretty well stuck in there oh look at that already nice 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 so I'm gonna fold that down get that ready um, <laughs> so this one is meant to say and I'm gonna I said Valentine's cards for I have a lot of times when I do a I'll advertise for a Valentine's class and somebody will say I don't have a Valentine's to send one to people everybody's got a Valentine's I'm gonna guess I give happy Valentine's Day things to family friends I guess legit Valentine's if you have one I don't currently have one of those but um, I give them to my family I give them to my son I give them to my, fa my son is family but I met my son and then I met my like brothers and sisters and my mom and such um, the one year I made a whole bunch of things that said happy Valentine's Day to give to the baristas at Starbucks because I used to stop on my way to work to get my chai and I had made them for my son's oh I don't know this was back then so I'm gonna guess like grade two class <laughs> and uh, I had extras and so I made them for them and those like little 20 somethings that worked at the Starbucks were so excited that somebody gave them anything <laughs> Um, it was so cute to see how excited they were about these they were you know the candy rings you put on your fingers and they had a little happy Valentine sticker on them and oh yeah it was just it was so much fun to see the excitement uh, so I could yeah it doesn't matter I could Valentine to everybody Valentine's just means hey it's a nice day to show people you like them and or love them and uh, I don't know I think it's a nice thing to appreciate people even strangers in the service I mean those guys I knew fairly well from seeing them so much but even the I don't know my UPS guy's name but he's so nice he's always friendly when I see him and he's out in the worst weather in a truck that looks like it has no insulation um, so I leave him little treats and stuff I think it's a nice thing to do okay this thing says I need another 12 inch chunk of twine <clears throat> and we're gonna do the whole loop-de-loop -loop thing here so in the instructions <laughs> It does actually say oops I stick my finger in it to use a glue dot here but I'm gonna use the uh, I'm gonna use the um, the dimensionals because I like the way it looks when it's 
like one is so much above the other one. Now, the trick is, and I shouldn't have done it, but I, I did, as soon as I did it, I was like, oh, I should have only taken the middle one off to begin with. Not the two outside ones, because I'm going to stick everything in them in the meantime. But the idea of taking that off is because now I can make my loops like this, and I'm sticking them into this. So the, the two outside ones are what's really going to hold the label down. The sticky part of this inside one is really just holding the twine on. So I can use it because if not, you're you're trying to hold this thing and it's squirming everywhere and it's like a dog you're trying to put eardrops in its ears. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Um, so yeah, it's it's a nice way to to be able to hold it and then you can you can kind of zhoosh up your <laughs> loops as you're trying to make them and get them even. This thing wants to turn a different way than I'm. I gotta quit fighting the turn. There we go. I'm trying to make my loops even. I think those are even. And then this is a little bit longer than I want. So there we go. I have the most musical washing machine that is letting me know my wash cycle is done by playing me a little tune. Okay, so now it looks like we have this lovely twine bow. And I just have to move all the pieces out from behind the things I took the labels off of. Ouch. And we're just going to pop this over top of our flowers. Now, I am going to tell you that as pretty as this card is, <laughs> I know what comes in the the rest of the suite. And actually, I can see them peeking out of the pile on the desk here. So I can tell you that if you if you know a demonstrator, you are a demonstrator, you want to make an order, order the, <laughs> order the embellishments that come with it because they are the prettiest purple embellishments. And there's so there's Berry Burst, Gorgeous Grape, and Highland Heather. And look at how glittery. <laughs> oh, they're so pretty. So I personally, I'm going to a couple more of those on there. But I will say, though, even just like this, it is a very pretty card. Um, and if I wasn't rattling so much, you'd have seen how quickly it goes together. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to take this. We're on our third card. What time are we? I didn't even look what time I started. I've never know. Usually I do. But today I'm just winging it. No idea how long I've been going. Okay, so I need an envelope. This one I'm doing with the, the watercolor that matches the back. Uh, I need a card base. Look at this pretty card. So here's the thing. The, these kits, they I mean, they're designed that you make this card this way. But look how pretty the back of this card is. So if you have extra supplies, you could very easily cut these in half and have two different... Because watercoloring is like a skill. <laughs> it, it just takes practice. It's, it's quite easy to do. You just have to practice enough. And some people are just better at it. But... Um, but look at this. This would make a card front and this would make a card front and you could just put it on something else. But in this case, this is like the top of the line cards where even the, even the back is decorated. Okay, we need to do that. Do, 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 do. I'm looking at my picture just to see what it's... Yeah, I tend to look at the picture instead of the instructions because I can usually tell from that what they're doing. But um, <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's not the best recommendation. And then we need one of these labels. I don't know if I need it on screen. I should pay my attention to. I start out on screen, but I move so many things as I go that really, do I know in the end if I am anymore? Nope, not really. Okay, we got our flowers. I think those up there and there. And our leaves and our love. And I'm going to move all these other little bits and pieces out of the way. Put them over here in the box in the pile I've got going of things, putting them back in their box. So this one. Oh, I was kind of wondering about that. Okay. I like to stamp the inside of my cards, and I like to stamp on my envelopes. So these are very pretty on the inside, but there's nothing on the front of them. So I was thinking, hmm, what am I going to stamp on here? But I see now. I was thinking it was going to be these oh, these little, uh, little leaves here. I'm trying to think of the... Is it eucalypt? No. I'm trying to think which, which plant I know that's... I think it's more of a tropical thing, but has just a ton of tiny little leaves because that's what this is, whatever this is. I'm not, I know plant gurus. I am not a plant guru. Okay, so for this card, they are actually stamping this in the gorgeous grape. Because I have a full craft room of supplies with me, I'm going to grab my garden green and I'm going to use the same thing when we're done. I'm going to wash it off and then I'm going to use that to stamp on the envelopes <clears throat> and on the inside of the cards. Um, if you don't have garden green and you do it in the gorgeous grape, that'll be fine too. 
So what we're going to do in the end is we're going to put, see they have those in the center. I'll, I'll start in the center. I like to offset things, but I'll do it the right way to begin with. <clears throat> and we're going to do a width. I'm going to get my tiny little, my tiny little block for the tiny little width. So the only stamp we haven't used from the set yet is love, which you could also stamp love on the inside of the cards or on the envelopes. Um, but part of it too is for making additional projects afterwards. That's why they give you enough options that you can you can do things. Okay, so there's my little width. I'm gonna stamp. So I can move the whole thing up. Width. Okay, that's width. And then, so we're putting this here. So the reason I'm doing this, I'm just kind of dry fitting all my stuff. Because I, I need, I'm going to stamp one of these right on this white square, and I need to know where to stamp it. So I'm going to put one of these in one of these, and I'm going to put the word love, and I'm going to put my little width over here. Actually, I'm going to put love over top of my. There we go on the end. Okay, so what I want is I want this guy to come out like this to fill in some of this white space. So what I like to do is I like to use my finger. So I've now figured out that this is going to go about here. Okay. So I'm going <laughs> to shimmy all that stuff off. So what I did is I know that on this card, I want this like intersection of all the branches here, like this part, just figure out a landmark. It doesn't matter what your landmark is, but that's mine. Was it right there? It needs to go about where my finger is. So I'm going to make sure because I only got one shot at this. If I want to do this where I get the pretty, the pretty purple, I've only got one shot at it. And somewhere buried on my desk is my actual stamping mat. <clears throat> so because this is a brand new stamp and a dark color, I'm going to just stamp on the back of this sheet of paper just to make sure I'm going to get a nice coverage. Because I don't want to, I don't want to mess up my pretty thing. I mean, I could flip it over, but then I wouldn't have the, the little foil trim on it and I want the foil trim okay so now I know I'm going about here I'm gonna stamp that down nice and solid oh look how pretty that is I'm gonna close this up so I don't stick anything in it <laughs> okay and then okay I'm gonna pop this up oops I just lost my little width there what does it tell me to do I'm thinking how many how many different layers can I make I would pop everything up but Probably a limit to how many things I want to pop up. Do, 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 do. I'm going to pop up the width. And you're not going to pop those two things up. Hmm. So I'm going to put dimensionals behind this one. I think it actually shows them on two different things. But I don't want to make this thing super thick. Um, I just want to. But I do like I do like dimensionals. <laughs> I do like putting them between all the layers. Okay. So I'm going to do this. that in the middle uh, I don't even know where the glue dots are on my desk anymore the ones I had so lucky for me I have other things <laughs> so I'm just gonna put some snail on here you would put the glue dots if you didn't lose them on your desk you would put glue dots so I'm gonna get this ready and I'm kind of holding it <laughs> this is my this is my technique I'm just kind of holding it above and I'm going to put because I want I need to know where this is gonna go so I know I need to know where the end of the like the stems go because I want all the stems to be caught underneath this. The other thing I need to make sure of before I put this over top, because I was just about to do it there, is to make sure that my flower is not going off the edge of the card so that it will still fit in the envelope. I had that a little too high to begin with. There we go. And now I can put that on it and that will hold them all in place. <laughs> I'm going to use glue dots again. I'm going to use off the roll. Because seriously, what did I do with those? I just had them. I... See, as I move things out of my way to, to not cause a problem, I tend to bury other things and cause a problem. <laughs> so I'm going to use... And there's a few spots, like the intersection on the L. Oops, sorry, I guess I'm off screen again, aren't I? 
so this intersection here where the where the curl and the O is and probably this intersection on the E here where it's a little bit thicker and it's the perfect size for the glue dots because you put the glue dot in those spots and it doesn't hang over. I'm going to put a love. I just realized that I was supposed to make a bow uh, with the twine and I was supposed to tuck it under the end of that. But that's okay because I'm just going to put it on top because I wasn't paying attention. So I'm just going to tie my bow. So instead of doing it like the way we did it on the other label, what they're asking for, what did I do with that card? I think that's what happened. I moved the other thing. So instead of putting it like this, looping it underneath the label, which is what I'm supposed to do, uh, I'm just going to make a bow. I'm going to make a big floppy bow. trim these things off because now it's longer than it needs to be and I'm going to pop up this word with I'm just going to take one of these dimensionals I'm going to cut from the edge so that they're a little bit thinner because I don't want to just put one I want to put two dimensionals on because one makes this thing kind of it's like the little circles and stuff it kind of makes it rock and it'll twist if your card gets moved around too much so I don't want to do that so I'm going to cut one of the edge pieces and then I'm just going to use the dimensionals that are on here to go over top of the bow and just kind of hold everything down with love. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, so there we go. There's our, our landscape card. There is our portrait card and there is our little bonus tag so look at how quickly those guys came together and how pretty they are Ooh. okay so the dies I told you the dies come and I'm going to show you really quickly for those who missed it on I kind of lost what track of what day of the week it is this week but I guess if you didn't see on Tuesday I made a couple other cards just using the dies because I didn't have this kit yet so now I'm going to mix and match but made a little note card with just the label and the Tulip. This thinking of you came from the Easter set, actually. And then I mean, this is, oh, I love this card. It's all my faves, color-wise and style-wise. So I made the little hello. So again, the same thing with the label, the little tulip. This came from, I think it's called Hexagon Hello. It's one of the celebration sets that had the nice big hello in it. Um, and then I used the love, the die cut, and the leaves on this one, and the label again. And then just the leftover hearts from my little bee creating. I made that one. So even with just the dies, like, and now with these stamp sets, you could do extra stuff. But look at how pretty that kit is. Oh, um, if you are, if you missed out on this kit and you were interested in it, let me know because um, the first day after the twentieth, which would be doo -doo -doo -doo, so on Monday, because I don't, uh, they might post them on Sunday. Maybe let me know by Sunday um, if they have these kits, like either the full kit, which includes the stamp set and the ink spot. Or they might just have the refills, which means you won't get the stamp in the ink spot, but you'll get all the card pieces. Um, I'll let you know, because this is going to be a popular kit. This kit's going to go. <laughs> um, I also know that they still have some of these dies left. These dies are well supplied last. But in the little demo video that we got to see the other day, um, the lady doing it did mention that a lot of people are buying them. She said, you really like them. A lot of people are buying them. <laughs> and then I, I uh, didn't get up the paper, so we'll... Uh, Trust me on the paper, it's gorgeous. But these are the other two stamp sets that are in the suite that it coordinates with. So painted lavender and perennial postage. So lots of good imagery here, which combined with this or on your cards, or you could make so many pretty things. And you can make more of your own die cuts with the lavender and stuff like that that you stamp and cut. And then this is very pretty, this little square with the, with the foil around it and these little cutouts. But look at all the little postage you got dyes galore in here and then a, just a ton of sentiments you can use. So these all coordinate together in case you're wondering what the rest of the suite that it refers to is. So much, much fun to be had. So there you go. That is that is our Friday catch up on all things Paper Pumpkin for January. Um, let me know if you want any of these things. Like I said, let me know by Sunday so I can keep an eye out for it and get on it right away if they, if they do have them. Um, 
If not, I'm just going to go back and keep playing with my own stuff. Let me know if you want to order any of those other little extra bits and pieces too. I can get rid of, I can do that too. I don't know why I'm so off kilter tonight. Um, thanks everybody. Um, happy Friday. <laughs> That's when you should be watching this. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will be back. I'll have some posts in between, but I will be back on Tuesday, um, for Tuesdays with Tracy. And I'm going to, I haven't picked the suite yet. But I'm going to pick just another one of the things that I'm just going to go to town and play and have fun and figure out any things and find any little tips or tricks to tell you and uh, just keep playing with it. Also, don't forget that next week is, uh, I extended it by a couple days because I realized I had some of the stuff I needed already so it wouldn't be as long to ship. So where's my pen? So I, I changed the, reserv or the RSVP date to Tuesday, but I need a couple more people to have enough for this. For this class to go but if you guys want to come on the 4th of february which is a sunday for sunday crafter noon we're making cards and a couple little treats and these can be used for valentine's just for nice things they're adorable um, i'll have extra stamps so that they can say happy birthday or thank you or whatever you need them to say but um register for that class so i have enough people for it to go but yeah that one i need to know by tuesday so i will remind you on tuesday and um, and then that'll be the final call for that class. But yeah, I really hope we have enough people and we can um, we can all get together and do some stamping and chatting and snacking. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, everybody. Have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye.